We're Stefano and Sasha. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're taking you to Amatepe Island in Nicaragua. We're going to show you the amazing sunsets, the delicious food, swimming with horses, and much, much more. So stay tuned. We are very drag. To get to Amatepe, you take a ferry from Rivas. You can take it just as a passenger or with your car like we did. A passenger ticket costs 50 Cordoba each, which is about $1.50. And the car fee was about 800 Cordoba, which is about $23. So all up, it costs us just under $30 to catch the ferry to the island. It was quite a beautiful ride, though it was pretty bumpy. And both Nala and me were a little bit seasick but it has some amazing views all right we made it the trip took about one hour uh they're waiting for everyone to get out of the boat and then it's our turn and then we are going to find camp camp Amatepe is not a very big island and there's actually not a lot of traffic or cars on the road. There's really only one road that goes around the island and most tourists or backpackers rent scooters for the trip and it has really chill island vibes, even though it's in the middle of a lake, not the ocean. Our first stop for the night was a campground near the ferry terminal because the ferry arrived in the afternoon. We didn't want to drive around at night and we actually really loved this place. It had a little puppy for Nala to play with as well, so she had a great time. This campsite cost $6 US each and we spent one night here for $12. What we really look for in a campsite is communal areas, bathroom, showers, hammocks. This place had a communal kitchen, which meant that we didn't have to cook inside the truck camper, which was nice. And it had a really beautiful view of the volcano from the second level balcony. There were lots of hammocks around and it was a really nice place to relax, to chill and to read. Our first stop on the island was Ojo de Agua, which is a beautiful natural pool that people come to swim at. There's restaurants so you can get drinks and meals and hang out here for the day. And we actually loved it so much that we ended up coming twice. Hola. That's just bench, baby. So this is the entrance at uh, the park. Um, the entrance... was $10 US each, because we are not national. But you get $5 each to spend at the restaurant on snacks and drinks, which is pretty good. Yeah, I guess it's pretty fair. Camping, spa, massage. We are really, really excited for this like it's quite hot in here so being able to hang all day in this natural pool it's a dream are you excited baby mm -hmm. are you gonna chill and relax yeah do a couple of hours to work my books and my journals no work
There's a lot of farmland on the island, and the most common traffic that you would see was actually animals instead of cars. We saw pigs in the road, wild horses, and cows. It was definitely a little bit different than your normal daily commute to work. This is our spot for tonight. Stefano had his doubts that there would be green grass because it's not rainy season, but there's other campers. I look at the view, baby. Yeah. <laughs> and it's gonna be a sunset. Are we gonna back up there? Beautiful. We are so stoked to have found this campground. So we drove out of the island looking for other accommodation, and for some reason, like, we couldn't like fit in one, and one and in another one that didn't want Nala, and uh, it was meant that we have to come here. We have been looking for a patch of grass <laughs> for the whole tree, and we have the view over here of the volcano. Wow! This is the magical sunset right now. So we're just gonna get a couple of beer and chill finally. Guys, drinks Sol. acquired. I used to drink this in Australia. I think, yeah, that is in Australia. No, this is Mexico. Oh. Stefano had one antihistamine and one uh, beer, and he's cooked. No. All last night and today there's been these horses and the little baby coming and grazing in our campsite. This is my favorite type of horse, a palomino. She's pretty skinny, but beautiful. There's the volcano. It's the biggest volcano, Volcano Concepcion that you can hike. This is our little campsite. We're just packing up to head into town. We're charging the generator. This mostly just runs our Starlink internet. Occasionally, we'll plug our computer into it, but it's run by these solar panels. What's the percentage? 16, so it's pretty low. We try to charge this when we're driving because it charges in two hours while we're driving. In the sun, it takes a, a little bit longer, but we do have some nice full sun. So we're just charging this before we go, packing up. This is our new dog that has stolen Nala's spot under the camper. I don't know where Nala is. I'm gonna go to a cafe and a little farm. So this is the camper getting ready to go. Kitchen's almost ready. We like never make the bed. Like why make the bed? It's so hard to make the bed in a van or a bus. We just gotta put some stuff away, find the dog. And we're good to go. That's delicious. What's the verdict? I feel like home. This looks like this, like Italian pasta. Look at this special gluten-free yeah. burger with hummus. Yeah. She gets stung by a bee. This is a half serve of pasta. It's actually a decent amount of pasta. Uh, I got stung by a bee, but I'm happy because it doesn't happen every day to find fresh and made pasta. So, happy day. And who got a Jamaica from Mexico? Wait, don't eat my fries. In the afternoon, we came back to our beautiful campsite. All the other campers were gone, so we got to enjoy it just us. And we just wanted to chill and hang out here for the afternoon. <laughs> Are you in a bitey mood? <laughs> That's it. You get aggressive. Bye. It's the end of the dry season here, so the air is pretty dusty, so the sunsets can be a little bit hazy, but we actually had the view of both volcanoes. So it's just pretty amazing to have a sunset view of two volcanoes and pretty unique. 
from basically anywhere on the island, you have a beautiful view and you can usually see at least one of the volcanoes. So pretty much everywhere that you go on this island, you have a stunning view. But where we're camping is a popular spot to see the sunset. This is night traffic on our way to the cacao ceremony. Is uh, I would call it like uh, the first experience trip. Stefano tries new things. So yesterday we did a cacao ceremony uh, with the full moon. We were uh, at the base, more or less, of the volcano. Mm -hmm. uh, and the cacao is made with water from the volcanic lake. Uh, yeah, it was a cool experience. It was a fun thing to do. Uh, definitely a new experience. Uh, we share our intention and we get to... We get to look in strangers' eyes. Yeah, connect uh, with other people. Uh, there was another Italian guy that I talked to and uh, it was funny because we say to each other, this looks like a speed date. Because <laughs> every three minutes you were uh, changing partner and sharing your trauma, your experience, your intention. But yeah, it was fun. And this morning we are walking up the mountain and what are we gonna do? We're going horseback riding, which, which we've been wanting to do like this whole trip, but it's never really been like the right spot for the right price. Yeah. Um, and this is a three hour ride we get to swim with the horses and it's only i think 40 bucks us each which is a lot cheaper than it'll be in costa rica where we're going next yeah and this is stefano's first time i'm excited and scared at the same time uh but yeah it's gonna be fun mm -hmm. um so if in the next video i'm not here <laughs> probably fell from the horse and uh, i'm on the hospital <laughs> Uh, no, it's gonna be all right. We're gonna show you how it goes. Yeah. The walk to the horse farm was a quick theory lesson for Stefano because he had never ridden a horse before and I wanted to run on the horses. I had to pretend that he had ridden horses before. So I gave him enough tips so that he could look like he kind of knew what he was doing. Baby. Are you happy? Mm -hmm. We went riding with one other girl and we got all assigned like the proper horse for us. I got a feisty naughty horse, which I requested. And we headed off through the bush, which was nice because it was nice and shady for most of the time. We rode a little bit on the beach. We rode through banana farms. We rode on the road. We rode through horse trails and other farms. And it was a really awesome long ride. To finish, we had a little gallop on the beach where we got to take the saddles off, change into our swimsuits and go swimming with the horses, which we had never done before and was absolutely magical. Under a volcano. After horseback riding, it was 12.30 p.m. and we hadn't really eaten yet and we were starving. Something that you have to do on Ometepe Island is go to the weekend farmer's markets on Saturday. There's a real hippie vibe on the whole island, but it culminates in these farmer's markets. There's a lot of vegan food and jewelry and we were told to go hungry and go hungry we did. We got these delicious kind of like plantain tacos stuffed with vegetables and they were so good. Do you like it? Uh-huh. So oh, it's good, man. It's this beautiful EP market here where you can find fruit and veg every Saturday. There's also like uh, jewelry and all sorts of stuff. And as you can see, uh, all the tourists are happy. Delicious food served on a banana leaf in, For in front of the beach. $2.50 each. Mine is yuca, which is like cassava, which is delicious, with vegetables. And Stefano's is plantain chicken, with chicken and, rice. and avocado. We're so hungry. Obviously, we arrived late, so we have to rush everything. But yeah, it's delicious. 
it's like kind of hazy tonight so this actual sun setting wasn't really nice but uh as you can see these colors are beautiful designated driver for the day which never happens it's sasha and only in emergencies only in case of emergencies <laughs> and we are in a big one honestly <laughs> Um, the reason is yesterday we did go for a um, horse ride and there was a beautiful experience. It was really, really long. It was like four hours. Um, I've never done horse riding before in my life. Um, and we did some galloping, a lot of galloping. And if you don't ride horses often or you've never been horseback riding, you don't know, you get pretty sore. Uh, after you go horseback riding, it's like a full-on athletic activity. So you, your inner thighs and sometimes your abs and your back gets really sore. Uh, my problem, <laughs> including all of these <laughs> such a thing, is that I was not really equipped probably uh, dressing-wise. Yeah. Uh, so I was using pants for going out at night. So I, I, you have to wear long pants. Yeah, I show with shorts and I thought it's gonna be okay. And the guy said, no, you need a long pants. So the only long pants that I have in my whole trip are like sweatpants, which I didn't want to use. Yeah, because it's really hot. And these like pants for going out at night. And uh, these pants <laughs> rubbed <laughs> on my butt. Basically, Stefan has no more skin on his butt between his cheeks. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> Yes. Which I've never seen happen. Like I grew up with horses. I've never seen that happen. I have no idea how that happened. So he can't really sit down properly. Yeah, I need to sit on the side. <laughs> so this is a fan fact of the trip. <laughs> and did you like horseback riding? Yeah, no, I was good. Cool. We yeah, we did like uh, I surprisingly didn't fail, didn't fall at all. Uh, I managed to stay with the group even when they were uh, galloping. So I was just lying behind, but because I couldn't like ride properly, like I lost my butt. Then. On top of that, his back was sore, so yeah. he had to sit a weird angle because every time the horse ran, every step it hurt his yeah. back. Yeah, yeah, it was not. It was fun, but painful. But we did swim with horses too, which is like a really beautiful that was experience. Yeah, and uh, the horses were really well cared for, which is really important down here. So yeah, we are sharing a fat fact and explaining why I'm not driving today. Hello from our last day on Amatepe. Sadly, we, yeah. we are leaving tomorrow, going back to mainland. Uh, but we had a great time. Yeah, we've loved it here. We stayed almost a week. Yeah. It's which is longer than we've really stayed anywhere else. Yeah. It was also really friendly for our type of travel. We found a great camp. Spot, a couple of great camp spots so um, that was a bit of a change every place is not always friendly to our type of travel yeah. and that's not yeah. to mean the people that's just to mean the roads where we can sleep yeah. if we can get water those kinds of things and uh, Ometepe we found it really easy to travel we didn't feel like every day we were just trying to like survive yeah. and spend half the yeah. day yeah. trying to survive we were camping lake in front of the lake and yeah we uh, did horse riding we did cacao ceremony yeah it was like a overall really good and it's really really peaceful and cool vibe here there are a lot of like vegan places if you like vegan there are a lot there's a big uh, expat community come on Nala it is an island, so it does have island vibes, even though it's an island in a freshwater lake, not with an ocean, it still has those really chill island vibes. So for the last stop, is this the last stop? This I think the last stop. we're going to this um, chocolate cafe. I think they also grow their own cacao. They also have accommodation in dorms, which if you're backpacking, this would be a really nice place to stay. It's no, called El Pital, and we're gonna get some brunch. I think it's all vegan. They have gluten-free pancakes, and then we're gonna buy some overpriced chocolate too. Right, baby? Yes, obviously we can't miss that. <laughs> That's a big cacao bean. Does it smell like chocolate? 
I think it's a cacao bean. I think, yeah, it's inside. You can... I think we'll sit right here. We have pancakes, smoothie balls, bagels, veggie burger, salad, nachos, yum. Uh, one, t 10 US dollars is about 350 Cordobas. So these are probably all like, I'm really bad at math, seven or eight dollars a meal. Which is quite expensive. Oh my god, iced matcha. Oh my god. Um, passion fruit juice, lemonade. No breakfast? It's okay, they have a nice matcha. Smoothies. Oh, oh, oh. Cashew Snickers. Carrot pecan cheesecake. Oh my god, we're gonna eat a lot. We have a view with the Vulcano down there. We have the dog. A hungry puppy. An angry puppy. And we have an epic girlfriend with this vegan nachos. Mm -hmm. Do you and like them? Mm -hmm. And what are we waiting for? An iced cacao and a vegetable and fruit juice. Yeah, and what about this? Uh, and carrot cake. Gluten free. This is our gluten-free vegan carrot cake, which I'm all about, but... It was not gluten-free. It is gluten-free. Stefano's on shore. It's racing, that's why I really like it. We caught one more final beautiful sunset at our camp before leaving early the next morning to catch the ferry back to the mainland. And we absolutely loved Ometepe Island and definitely recommend it if you're visiting this way. Stay tuned for next week as we're gonna show you what a day in the life living in our truck camper looks like, remote free beach camping in the Popoyo area of Nicaragua. As always, please like and subscribe to our channel to support us and help us grow and continue traveling. Let us know in the comments what you think and we will see you next week.